Today on Grow With Science, I'll be showing you how to harvest your onions and cure them ready for storage. So this is the onion bed that I'm harvesting today. We've got a mixture of uh, white and red onions in this one. They've been in since around March, so give or take four months. Uh, they've done quite well. So one of the first things just to keep an eye out for is when your leaves they start drooping, going brown, shriveling up, and then they will actually start to just uh, fall over, just like this one here. They sort of bend just at the neck above the top of the onion there, and they'll just fall over flat, as you can see. The majority of the uh, red onions that I've got have done that. They've bent over and just fell flat. I've got a couple of the white onions yet, but the majority of them have have gone so I'm gonna get all these up today this is where my greenhouse is gonna be going so can't wait to get these out and get cracking with that one that I purposely left in I've not pulled it out yet is this one which has started to flower on the end which is called bolting let's get that out actually now you'll see if you just look at this the red on the onions actually started to travel up the stem and you'll notice that this is quite a thick woody stem on this one. And this is caused because onions are biennial, which means they have a two year life cycle. So these go in in one year, die back over winter, and then next year the flower produce seeds. So at some point in this onion's life, it thinks winter's happened, which was probably the late frost that we got in May which has sort of filled it into thinking that it's had two years of life and it's sent up its flower ready to uh, produce seeds and you'll see it's sort of like a thin hollow stem and these don't store very well so this one can use it straight away really just like a spring onion really and you'll see how easy that snaps but yeah, these don't store over winter or anything, so you just want to use these straight away and use them as a fresh onion. Another good indicator of your onions getting ready to harvest is that they'll come up to the surface like this and they'll make their way up, sit on top, they're still firmly in there with the roots, but they'll start to swell up on top of the soil like this. This is where they get the majority of the size and mass, so you don't want to pull them up just yet until the stems bend over like this and that is when they've stopped growing. So all we're going to do here is just grab all of it, just here, just below the bend on the neck, give it a bit of a twist and a pull, and it'll come up with the roots. Give it a shake, and there we go. First onion. So all I'm gonna do now is go all the way along this bed, pull out all the onions, and we'll see what we've got. That's white onions done, onto the red ones. As you can see there, just from that small patch, got an absolute ton of onions. Now a couple of them didn't make their way up to the uh, to the surface and you can see that they, they end up with quite this weird uh, mould on the outside. As you can see, got a good, good range of onions here, all different sizes really. Got a couple of little tiny things like that and some bigger ones like this, that's a really nice one. So the next job is we've got to just clean all these up, get them ready and then uh, we can start curing them. So all you're going to need is a bucket just to catch all the bits in because these are really good for your compost and you don't want to waste all that and then some cutters just so you can tidy up the roots. Uh, and let's get cracking, so all you need to do Get your first onion there. All you really need to do is just peel these outside bits off that are all rotten and dry, just to give yourself a nice onion there underneath. Scrape off any rotten bits and then 
gate cutters. We just cut that bottom bit off there, the root. Doesn't need them now. Just tidies it up a bit for when it cures. That'll be nice and tidy. Easy as that, so that's one done. Just gotta do all of these now. And we'll have a nice pile of onions. So there we go, they're all done. All looking quite nice. Ended up with quite a few actually. Just gonna give them a bit of a wash. Get them into the greenhouse. So I'm gonna be hanging mine just here in the greenhouse for uh, the time being. We're not forecast any kind of sun or nice weather in the UK for at least the next couple of days. So I'm gonna hang them up in here. I wouldn't advise doing it if, if you get hot temperatures because they'll just cook in your greenhouse. But like I say, I'm, I'm quite safe in here for at least the next week. So I'm gonna hang them up. I've got a bit of space over there. Got to put a string across, then just sort of hang them down and let them get on with drying. So I'll crack on with that and then I'll show you how uh, how that turns out. Jesus, it's a massive moth. Right, so all I'm going to do is get my string here, get the onion. I'm going to have it right up here at the top. Just gonna wrap it round like that, tie it. And there's one done. Next one. It's just underneath. Same again. Just gonna tie it. The important thing is just to make sure that they've got air circulation just so that they can dry out properly. There's two. And once these start to dry out and these leaves start to uh, dry up and die, then you can just start cutting them off. not too keen on cutting them off too early just so the bacteria doesn't get into the onion and cause it to rot prematurely. That's all there is to it really it's just a bit of an onion mobile this is going to hang up here in my greenhouse like I say we're not due any hot weather anytime soon so these are going to be absolutely fine um, these will dry out quite nicely maybe a week or two maybe three uh, and these should go quite uh, yellow and dry They'll start to wilt at the knot as well there, so just keep an eye on them really if you're going to do this and just make sure you'll be able to cut these off once they start going brown and you'll end up with just maybe this long left uh, and that's all you need really for storing them. So all I'm going to do is keep an eye on these, take these leaves off like I say once they, uh, once they die off. Uh, and yeah, there we go, that's it. So there we are, that's that done. They're really heavy, so I'm not really going to put any more than that on. Uh, and they look quite nice. They should dry nicely. They've got loads of air circulation, and it's quite a dry corner over there. So let's hope that they uh, turn out nice. And uh, the rest of them, I'm just going to have to spread out the uh, old-fashioned way. So that's it for today. Uh, I've had to spread the rest of them out just on this table behind me, and they should dry just fine. Uh, and then as soon as that's all done, maybe in a couple of weeks, I'll do a second part video where I'll uh, I'll string these up and show you just how to store them once they've dried. And then don't forget, if you want to help support my channel, check out the Grow Up With Science Seed Club, which is running on Patreon. Every month I'll send you out a pack of seeds wherever you are in the world. This month we're doing the uh, California Red Chief Poppies, which are going in in September. So everyone who signs up in July receives them in August, ready to sow in September when we do the video together. So don't forget to check that out. So like I say, we'll have another part to this video in a couple of weeks. Make sure you subscribe just so you don't miss it. Check out my other videos while you're there and I'll see you next time.